News for Jack starts right now with a breaking news alert. And breaking right now at the top of our 6 o'clock newscast, one student was shot, another student arrested at Rebald High School. It happened near the field house late this afternoon. And News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny is joining us live from Rebald High. And Eric, the student was shot in the arm. Yes, that student was shot in the arm, and here's some information that I have for you. Although the police are not ready uh, to uh, confirm this, we now have heard from two separate sources uh, that this was a case where you had a student, an 18-year-old student, who brought a gun to school and was showing that gun off uh, when the gun went off and shot another student in the shoulder. Luckily, uh, that student who was shot has non-life-threatening injuries. The student who uh, was handling the gun, who was believed to have brought the gun to school, is now facing a single charge charge of uh, bringing a firearm onto school property, which is a felony. Joining me right now is our crime and safety expert, Ken Jefferson, who is also an alumni of Rebald High School class of 1975. I wanted to ask you, the fact that this student was only charged with bringing a gun onto school and not charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, what does that tell you right there? Well, it tells me that he didn't have an intent to use the weapon uh, against anybody. He was wrong for bringing it there uh, here to the school, which is a felony. He can't do that, so that's what they're charging him with. Had he brandished it, brandished it, the weapon or pointed at someone or even shot, sh shot someone intentionally, he would have been charged with aggravated assault or aggravated battery in this case. So they're taking uh, the lesser of the two and just charging him with that. And out of this, we're hearing now that they're going to start pretty much uh, using the, the wand on every student coming in to, uh, to look for weapons. Yeah, you know, uh, the most compelling question with, I, I heard about that, but, but the most compelling question is that uh, they have metal detectors that, I, that I, I believe they do. Why, this probably could have been mitigated had the students been going through the metal detectors on a regular basis. You know, uh, a handgun can be detected from those metal detectors or even a wand. So my question is, how, how often do you randomly check? How often do you allow students to go in? Because we, we hear time and time again about these uh, kids bringing guns to school and we're spending money into these detectors and wands and personnel and it doesn't seem to be working or they're not working it the way it's supposed to be working. I don't know. Gotcha. That is a really good point. Again, that was our crime and safety expert, Ken Jefferson. Uh, we will be looking into that, uh, knowing that there are some metal detectors at some of these schools and why those metal detectors were not used today. Of course, we'll have more on this coming up later on this evening. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.